Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The media and protesters are gone now, the city on the slow boil. Another black man dead at the hands of police. Then three police murdered, one black, an apparent revenge killing. It's been two years since the shooting death of Michael Brown forced the nation to consider the relationship between its black men and its police. And since Ferguson, Missouri, things seem to have spun backwards in America. This is the Fox News Alert. You're looking live there in Baltimore, a situation that is developing. Violent protests tonight following the funeral for an African American man who died in More chaos on the streets of Dallas. It is unclear what is happening. There is no doubt whatsoever that these officers were intentionally targeted and assassinated. My grandfather was born black in Baton Rouge, but lived and died as a white man in Detroit. I went back to his birthplace to talk to our cousins about black power, white power, institutional power. Do you feel badly that you trusted to call the police? Yeah, yeah, I did, I do. Even though a man was threatening you with a weapon, you still feel bad? You, because of the killer, and I, I trusted the police department handle that in a reasonable way, not just take it right. You think you could get in peace officers that come, not gang members. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't want them to act like a bunch of thugs. You know, they're supposed to be professional. And if they're afraid, they shouldn't take the job. Officer Jackson perished right there. there. You knew him. I knew everybody in law. I hired Montreal. I think law enforcement at some point has to have the right to defend himself. I didn't hire Montreal to die back here. I hired him because he cared about this community. I didn't hire him to be sacrificed behind some building on a Sunday morning. I can't say it was, it's worse now, simply because back then, man, none of them was small enough. You could stand right here like this, and he say or do anything he want to you. You better not open your mouth. That's why I still hate the police. Police ain't no hero of mine. Police is my enemy. I'll tell that to anyone. Chief of Police Baton Rouge for? Six years. And how long did you serve? Uh, right at 30. 30? 29 and something. Here in Baton Rouge? Right here, all here. When you're at work, are you black or are you blue? You're somewhere in the middle. There's black, there's white, and then there's blue. And you tell anybody that wears blue is white? No. They're blue. Anybody that wears blue is blue. And they're all together. And it doesn't matter, they can break the law, they're all gonna cover one another. In San Diego, I was stopped for walking down the street four times in less than an hour to be carted. You know, to be, hey, where's your ID? What, let me see your papers. Is this Germany all of a sudden? You know what I mean? It, it seems there's less and less freedom for men of color. You saw the pictures. Somebody was happy to be there with a, with a camera and took the picture. Why they shot that man? He was kneeling on this man's arm. The other cop was on the other side. Why did he shoot him? The chief of police here is our cousin, yeah. a black man. Leduff. Yeah, Leduff. So I grew up in Urbanville with all those LaDuffs that's over there. And uh, what would you say to those LaDuffs that don't like you because you're a cop? I, I, I think my LaDuffs know what kind of man I am. Because, I didn't say the kind of man you are, no, I said the but, cop. But, but you can't, I, I don't have any family mad at me. I know him. I knew his dad. He died some 30 years ago. And I knew his dad as a kid. Uh, I wouldn't say too much because He's a cop. He's, he's a cop, thank you. I'm glad you saw that. I, I don't know what the secret is to change. If I knew the secret, I wouldn't give it to you today, Charlie. I'd bottle it and sell it. It didn't take us a minute to get here, and it's not gonna take us a minute to get out of here. Talk to people like they're a human being. 
and go from there. And go from there. But I'm one of the ones I bow down. <coughs> I'm not bowing down. I mean, I'll give them their respect. I bow down. You know? But, I mean, they pulled me over. My hands are out the window. You know? I know what they're capable of. I'm not a fool, but I, I'm not, you know, I'm a man. 